42 million Americans in the storm zone right now, many of them trying to get home as a two-fisted snowstorm is moving in. You can see on this map what's happening. Two storms, a giant nor'easter of wind and moisture. there on the right, about to get a jolt of extra energy from a second storm. And this is how it feels on the ground. Streets are turned into ski slopes. Snow plows, no match for the icy slick, and a sign that says it all, avoid all travel. ABC's weather editor Sam Champion standing by and our extreme weather team up and down the storm zone. And we start with ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z. She's in Boston where it's starting to blow. The winds are coming in. Ginger. That it is. Diane, it's not often that you get to stand in a street in the middle of Boston and have absolutely nothing around you. After 4 p.m. today, people were told do not drive. And if you do, you get a $500 fine or face up to a year of jail time. Pretty intense, and it should be, as all eyes now on this nor'easter that will be sure to make weather history. It's a pre-blizzard paralysis. Stay off the roads. Stay home. Boston is on lockdown. Their airport shut down and states of emergency were declared in at least five states. I think everybody's in a panic. Everybody's getting ready. We don't know what to expect. <laughs> well, we do know what to expect. At least one to even two feet of snow for some of the biggest cities in the Northeast and New England. The wind and storm surge also a huge issue. Our affiliates from across the region reporting on the deteriorating conditions. I can tell you I'm standing alongside one very, very angry Long Island Sound. Take a look out here. You can see the waves already whipping up. These gusts are really starting to come at us now. You get a perspective from the light just how fast this and hard the snow is starting to fall. The roads are already horrible. You know, the roads are so bad right now that I would honestly rather walk than drive. This section of I-95 in Connecticut was shut down and even the plows are crashing. This one flipped in Bedford County, Virginia. In New York, long lines and fears of fuel shortages like there were after Superstorm Sandy. There is no need uh, to panic buying of gas via cars. All indications are the gas supply is plentiful and distributors this deliveries will not be disrupted. At the airports, at least 4,500 flights canceled through Sunday and residual delays felt as far away as Los Angeles. Back in Boston, getting off the roads and home was most important. My only concern is about the power. Uh, I just heard that we might get a foot or two, so it sounds like uh, the blizzard of 78, which I grew up hearing my parents talk about, and so uh, maybe our turn now. Diane, the worst of it is just getting underway. It'll go through the early morning hours. We've already had a 50 plus mile per hour gust. Told you I'd have the goggles on. I'm going to need it here, as will everyone else, into the overnight. Diane?